Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, we can do. Uh, we can do that. First of all, though, I'm going to need to prove that. That, that zombie outside is part of the family, so uh, there's got to be something in here. Uh, a picture or something like that. There's a photo over there. Aha! Uh -huh. Speak of the devil! <laughs> Find anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Hmm. She will remember that you are trusted her. And she will take you to the next level. And become Super Saiyan. Again. Wow. Let's get out of here. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh dear, uh... Let's just be no, straight, let's be straight. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Yeah, Mr. Muscles was sitting right outside. I wonder if he knows. Now that's a question that could be answered. Ho ho ho! What will that be? How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? But no, no. Let's uh, let's right. let's head out to uh, to save Glenn. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and save Glenn. Do 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 do. Oh. 
Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> well, I see we got two up there. We got one there. Uh, we got one who's lying by the car. The one who's eating eating an ass. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than that. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. <laughs> we can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Let's see. Whoa! -ho -ho. Myself, even if I had a weapon. Now oh, let's get back. Let's get back and uh, see what's the other way. We can hide by that pickup. Let's go to that pickup. 